Hi guys, welcome once again to Traders Motivation and today we're going, I'm going to show you how to apply support and resistance to candlestick charts on the Oanda FX Trade platform. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you on the USD JPY 4 hour chart, uh, but the, the theory behind what I'm going to show you is applicable across all time frames and all different currency pairs and also stocks and indices for that matter. So, first of all, the way we select a horizontal um, line to draw on our charts is up here in the right hand corner under the trend line um, bo uh, button. So we click that button and it gives us a range of options. So we can select a Fibonacci retracement, vertical trend lines, horizontal trend lines or trend lines that we wish to draw ourselves. But in order to accurately map support and resistance levels, um, horizontal trend lines are the option to select. So we'll go ahead and click there, and then that allows us to place a horizontal line on our charts. The best place to place our horizontal lines are where price has touched or price has consolidated around for a, a number of times, a number of times, and then made a move either through it or away from it. So let's have a look at the chart we've got in front of us. Uh, as we can see, this area around here, we had a touch at this level and this level. So if we stick a line there, that gives us the support level for when price was uh, around this area. So we had a touch there. We had a breakthrough, but it closed above, so it's a touch. A touch there. Um, going further along on the charts, you can see that price has come up to these levels here and here and bounced back down. So that would be classed as support there, as price came down and supported price, where it came back up. It then broke and is now tested and is now using it as a resistance level. So that's 115.20. So that's our first one mapped. It's just a simple case of seeing where price touches and price comes to uh, on a repeated basis and then placing the horizontal line across the chart at that price. So let's see if we can find some more. Again, we select the horizontal trend line. Uh, let's have a look. This level down here. So we can see price has touched it here and here. So if we place our horizontal trend line, uh, horizontal support line there, we can see uh, that price has actually been in a consolidation channel using this as uh, support uh, resistance and this down here as support. So we've got that touch there, that touch there. Price came down, it tried to make a sustained move through came back up, again tried to break through that support uh, support level, came back up and now it's broken. It broke yesterday, uh, well earlier on today actually because this is a four hour chart and is now looking like probably moving away, down away from this level. So that's just a quick way of showing you how to, to, plot, to plot your support and resistance levels. Find where price has touched or an area where price has touched on more than two occasions and then we select the horizontal trend line from the trend line options in your right -hand corner and apply those to your chart. Uh, we'll do a quick one more just to show you that this is applicable across different currency pairs. So we've got the Euro USD four hour chart here. Let's have a look if we can find areas where price has touched twice. Well, this area here, look. So price came down to this level, touched made a move away, came down here, tried to break through, closed above, came down here, touched again, and then made a sustained move forward. So if we place our horizontal trend line there, we can see that it actually is applicable back here as well. It was support uh, around this area, and again, and again. However, it did make a sustained move through, bounced around it for a little while, came back below, bounced through again, and now touched, bounced, touched, bounced, touched, bounced, up, came back down and touched and bounced again here. So this can be considered quite a strong support and resistance level. Uh, traders are looking at this level when price comes down to it and making trade decisions uh, around this level, uh, as you should be too. Uh, let's have a look at one more just to uh, consolidate what we've gone through. So we've got the New Zealand, New Zealand dollar, and uh, let's have a look if we've got any levels here. We'll try that one there. Sorry, that's a trend line. We want the horizontal trend line. So this one here. So we can see that price came up to this level here, touched, 
and this level again and touch. So if we place a trend line around that area, we can see that price touch, bounce, touch, bounce, touched, made a move through, came back down, tried to come back down below these levels, came back up, bounced on this level again, up, bounced on this level again, up, and it looks like we're going to see probably a sustained move above this level. But if we had drawn this trend line when price got to got to here, we would see that it is a support, a resistance level, and we could have made trade decisions around this level here, and possibly this level here, and this level here, taking long, long trades. So that's just a quick rudimentary explanation of how to plot support and resistance levels, specifically in the Orlando FX Trade platform. If you've got any questions, if you want me to go through any other pairs and show you this again in more detail, please let me know. Uh, best of luck, guys, in the markets, and good luck. Please subscribe to my channel, leave me any comments, and uh, have a great day. Bye for now.